Four leaders went head to head last night in Montreal during the first French language debate. Monsieur Trudeau, un pour vous, pas acheter des crédits. un pour vous et les médias, et l'autre oh, pour vos costumes et vos canaux. Ça, c I certainly didn't take long for sparks to fly. Here, conservative leader Andrew Scheer uh, launched a jab at Justin Trudeau, saying the liberal leader has two planes, one for him and one for his costumes and canoes. The four leaders also faced off over a number of topics, including abortion, legalizing cannabis, climate change, and Bill 21, which is the Quebec law that forbids some government employees from wearing religious symbols at work. Green Party leader Elizabeth May and the People's Party, Maxime Bernier, were not invited to this debate. Daniel Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us to continue this conversation. Now, what do you make of the debate last night, Danielle? Well, I love to watch what Warren Kinsella has to say about things because he's a liberal who's very disaffected by J Justin Trudeau because he doesn't agree with the cult of personality around him and doesn't think that he's a genuine liberal. And so he's been very critical during the campaign and uh, so and surprisingly also quite complimentary of Andrew Scheer. So he's a bit of a, an odd voice to be watching uh, during this campaign. He thinks hands down the person who won the, da the debate was Yves-Francois Blanchet, which is interesting and something we should, and probably quite concerning. This is the Bloc Québécois leader. I think we all thought that separatism was dead in Quebec. And the fact that he's been able to breathe new life into the party is something that will change the dynamic of the country once again. Quebec, when they decide to go at a particular way, they go en masse. They do tend to vote overwhelmingly in favor of one party or another. And so in this case, uh, what we'll be watching for is to see whether or not all of that vote that went to the NDs last time around slides on over to the bloc or whether or not it's able to steal seats from the Liberals. Um, the other interesting point, of course, and you played the, the clip, I think everybody was even able to interpret that one, even if they didn't speak French. Um, he also said that Andrew Scheer, even though it, he did the worst in the debate, he's not as comfortable with French, which surprises me because he was um, he was the Speaker of the House for a long time, so he would have had to deliver a lot of rulings en français as well. But a uh, debate environment can be a little bit more tricky. But he still gave him the, the knockout punch on, on that hit. You had Justin Trudeau. The first question he had to come out um, when he was facing reporters was to justify why he has not just one but two planes flying around and it doesn't help to say oh well I did it in the last election too and I don't know that it, it, it justifies it by saying but I bought a carbon offset credits I mean he's trying to tell us that we've got to do less so when is he going to start walking his own talk so I think that that was uh, probably the knockout punch of the of the campaign don't know if it'll help Andrew Scheer win seats in Quebec but it'll certainly help shore up his base outside of Quebec and uh, should we take anything from this debate leading into the English one coming up on the 7th? It's going to be a totally different dynamic with um, Elizabeth May and with Maxime Bernier on the stage. And so um, we'll have to see. And English versus French are also totally different because, as we can see, in, when it's a French debate, it's all about Quebec. One of the things that I found the most annoying, of course, is the Bloc Québécois saying that they think that they're entitled to even more transfers from the federal government to help them with a transition on green policies. Don't quite know where they figure all this money comes from. We know where a lot of the extra dough comes from that Ottawa distributes to Quebec. It comes from hard paying taxpayers in Alberta and they don't want to see pipelines built. So that to me will be quite interesting to see how that dynamic plays out with two additional uh, speakers on the stage. Unfortunately, in the French, in the English debate, um, as I understand it, the, I, I don't think the bloc leader is going to be participating in that one. Um, if he is, oh, he is actually, he's going to be participating in that English debate too. So we'll see whether or not the, the messaging is any different oh, in that, English yeah. as it is in French. Okay, that's poking the Alberta bear for sure. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Danielle, have a good show. Yeah, my pleasure.